Hello everybody, this is Super Uncle with another tutorial and today I'll be showing y'all how to make a box server in Minehut. So what you want to do is get these plugins. Itemizer, World Edit, Essentials, Essential Spawn, Item Editor, World Guard, Shopkeepers, and Mine Reset Light. Next what you want to do is we're using World Edit, you can type in slash slash up. I would say about 30 blocks, just from the ground. So you can have your basically normal box. So as you see here, I already did this. I have one glass block here and one all the way over there. So what you want to do is you want to first make a floor. So you'll type in slash slash one. Basically give you this magic axe that's used by World Edit. Then you want to left click this block and go all the way here and right click this block. This will basically set the first and the second position of the box. Now what you want to do is slash set, slash slash set to use World Edit. And then I recommend using Bedrock. Okay, so now it's loading. There it is. Perfect. A platform. This is all we needed. So now this might be really good, but let's say you want this to layer to be grass. Okay, so you will right click this block, left click, and go all the way here and right click this block for the second position. You can basically make this anything. Um, I'll teach you later how to make it indestructible if it's destructible blocks. Slash, 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 set. Um, let's say grass. Ah, yes, very cool. Slash, set, grass, block. Perfect, this is way better. Okay, so now, let's say you want to make this indestructible. So, what you want to do is, again, select this, and, again, select this corner. And what you want to do is you're going to use the world card plugin. I type in slash RG create. And then you're going to name this, let's say floor. Okay. So now it's been made floor. Okay. Now slash RG flag floor block underscore break false. And Okay, well, as you see, that doesn't work, so here it'll show you, so block trampling, block break. So instead of using an underscore, it's a dash. Slash RG, flag, floor, um, block, break, false. What the hell? Well, okay. So as you see here, instead of setting it false, you'll have to set it to deny. So let's do this again. Slash RG flag floor uh, block break deny. Okay, there we go. So now you can't break this block. I can, obviously, because of an operator. An operator passes this. But then if you're not an operator, you can't break it. So what you want to do now is select this corner again. And now we're going to make the walls. So that's the first position. And now you want to go here. And it depends on how high you want your box to be. So for example, I want it to be, um, I don't know, let's say 100 blocks. Let's see how high this is. This is a bit too high in my opinion. So let's go down and let's do a slash slash up 80. Perfect. So now you right click this, and now you want to type in slash slash walls bedrock, one sec. So now it's going to be laggy, but then it's going to make these walls. Now let's make these mobs not spawn here. So what you want to do is slash slash game rule mob spawn okay so first of all do daylight cycle false slash time set day so now what you're going to do is slash game game mode slash game rule and you want to do here you want to scroll down mob spawning false so now we just have these spiders, but then don't worry about them because we're gonna basically get eliminated out of here when the server resets and when the server basically reloads, which you should always do when you have a box, so you should always reload it. Okay.
I should always be start to get rid of these annoying husks. Okay, so the next thing which you want to do is, I guess, we should make some sort of a spawn area. So, let's go up to one of the corners. For example, like, uh, I would want it to be about here. So this doesn't necessarily have to be centered. I'm not going to make it centered. And a tip, if you don't want to make it centered, I recommend just coming to like a corner and making it here. So second position, first position, slash slash set air. Okay, amazing. Now what I recommend doing is getting some bedrock or whatever. Just going on the first layer. Go backwards a little. Okay, about right here. Now let's make a floor. Slash slash uh, bedrock. Okay, so now as you see, this is bedrock. Now the top of it, let's set it to, for example, wood. We can make it indestructible if we want. Um, so yeah. Slash slash uh, um, oak planks. Okay, there. And now what I want to do is I'm going to mark it actually. I'm going to make it like this. Make it tall. I'm going to flag it from here to down here slash rg create spawn slash rg flag spawn and again block break deny like this and I want to do slash slash walls bedrock probably Just like this. And this will be here, but like, just don't mind it. Let me just cover this like this. Like this. Actually, let's just use world edit, because I'm lazy. Perfect. And now, let's just clear this up. So, you see, world edit is very powerful. Slash, slash, set, air. Perfect. Oh my gosh, bro, what is this here? This is very not professional. Okay, so as you see here, now we have this box. Very cool box, and in it you can't break blocks. So now let's make it so you can't place blocks either. Slash RG flag spawn block place deny. Just like this. So now, you can't place blocks in here. I can, because I'm operator. Okay, so now we can just make a sort of cover here, like this roof almost. Flash set bedrock, or actually, flash flash set. Um, I want it to be oak planks, because oak planks look good. Now obviously this, you might want to change to bedrock. It's basically just the customization part. Slash slash set bedrock. Okay. So now it's clear. Let's just place some torches here. Honestly, not going for it to look beautiful. I'm just making it look practical. And obviously, you can have any design here as you want. So now, let's say you want um, to make actual mines. So what you want to do is, again, slash slash one. It's, this pretty much works with all of the plugins there are. Okay. So now, using the MRL mine, mine reset light, you want to basically, I don't know, grab some wood maybe. Okay, so let's say I want my diamond mine to be here. I left click. I go about here where I want it to end. Let's say I want it pretty tall. Like this, okay. Slash MRL. Okay, so slash MRL create diamond slash MRL. Now you can click this to basically show you all of the commands. So slash MRL. Now we can scroll up to see. Um, it's basically a set slash MRL set. Oops, set diamond. 
a diamond, and then basically let's say we want it to be uh, um 50% diamond block. Diamond block and yeah, about 50%. Slash MRL set uh, diamond um diamond underscore or 50% okay slash MRL reset diamond reset okay now it's gonna reset and there we go okay so now you can break it break it all you want but it's not gonna reset so what you're gonna do is MRL flag slash MRL flag diamond oh never mind flag diamond I think it's like reset underscore delay now it's in seconds so let's say I wanted to to reset pretty much every I don't know minute five minutes okay let's just go for 300 what Okay, so here you can actually look at these. Okay, uh, this is quite a little awkward. Mhm. Mm Slash roll black diamond reset. So we reached a delay, I don't know, like 60. What? Slash. Okay, fine, whatever. So you created your mine, and this is pretty much how the mines work. Yes, very cool. I know, this is very awkward. So now, let's say your players can actually basically mine this. Let me get me a diamond pickaxe. So now you see, I can go into here, I can mine this. Yes, very cool. Have diamonds, diamond blocks. Okay, and now let's say I want to buy food because as you see, I was a little hungry. Let's set up a small villager here. Uh, slash shopkeeper. Oh, wow. There we go. There's our shopkeeper. Basically, you can make it whatever you want, as you see here. Slash shopkeeper, you can basically make it even an actual auto. Like this, and then you can right click it as you see, it's basically the offers. But then, when you shift right click and sneak right click like this, you can basically choose things. So, first of all, you can choose the variant of whatever. Like, okay, I personally prefer the pink axe or whatever. And villagers, it's the same bubble of professions, like this, for example. This, okay, now you can toggle baby variants, like shop name, for example. Avoid. Now I want to do it. Food. Yeah, it's named food. Come on. Yes, yeah, so it's basically named food. Now if you sneak right click him, let's get some food. Uh, let's get some steak. Okay, some steak. So basically how this works is that on the bottom here, you put whatever you wanted to sell. So let's say I wanted to sell steak and a diamond pickaxe. I'll make it sell a steak for... Uh, let's say three diamonds and a pickaxe for a diamond block like this. So now, if you go here, it's reversed. Never mind, like this. So let's try like this. Swap them. Nice. So now, if we give it some diamonds, we give a stake. And after we give it a diamond block, we can get a diamond pickaxe. This is just an example of what you can do uh, with this plugin, basically. Now, let's say you want to make custom items, right? Because custom items are pretty cool. So let's say I want to make a really OP pickaxe. So I want to go, I'm going to get a diamond pickaxe. Because, I don't know, diamond just looks cooler in my opinion. Now, what you want to do is slash IE, slash itemizer, so basically slash IT, name. You can basically name this pickaxe whatever you want. For example, I want it to be 
minor. Get it? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Minor. And I have to use these special symbols and L and basically the color code, whatever I'm guessing. Uh, he put three, and I'll be minor. Very cool. Yes. And now let's say it enchant. And now uh, let's say we wanted to enchant with I don't know efficiency to 55. So now as you see, what? Okay. Slash IE enchant. This is a better plugin. I admit it. Efficiency. Uh, I don't know 54. Whatever. Here. So now if you're going to create into survival, you can actually see that it works really well. So this is the way, it basically works on, this is basically the way to create custom items. It works on armor, it works on pretty much anything, even like tridents and swords. So yep, that's pretty much my super basic tutorial on how to create a block server. I know it's not the best, but if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe, because it did take me a while to make it, believe it or not. And thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, my goal is to get 100 subscribers, and it will be helping me so much if you subscribe. Thank you.